Hey guys, this is Sims 3 Copper Fox bringing you episode three of the princess games. So first and foremost, I moved the princesses to a new lot that you can actually download in the description bar below. It is on the exchange. It was created by Izzy's Izzy Sim Central, I believe is the name. And she did an amazing job. Wait till you guys see the inside of this house. It is seriously incredible. I was completely blown away considering that she was on such a time crunch. I am just like, wow, how like, I don't even understand how like it's just that it's that awesome. Um, way better than anything I could have come up with on my own. So I am definitely grateful. And thank you so, so much to Izzy Sim Central. And uh, I do also want to let you know, though, if you do download the house, it might look different in your game than it does in mine because there were a few. I, I don't have the Showtime expansion and there were some stuff packs that I have missing. So um, it, it might look a little bit different for you guys if you download it and you have everything. And uh, she did also tell me that the Victory House she didn't have as much time to spend on because of the time crunch. I needed it before the next episode. And um, so the Victory House, I probably will have to add some things to. But uh, for this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to give Snow White her victor or her reward prize. <laughs> and we are going to be punishing Aurora. I know this was really, really close, guys. Like it was between Jasmine and Aurora and it was literally a one point difference. Like I've been checking the polls every day and one day it's Aurora and then one day it's Jasmine and then it's Aurora and then it's Jasmine. So um, I basically the way that the polls are going to work is whenever I record is when the decision is going to be made. So um there was like a week, I think, actually to vote on this poll. So it was like six or seven days. Also, sorry, this intro is like super freaking long. But uh, sorry, this video is late. I spilled coffee on my laptop yesterday and it was like the seventh circle of hell. And the coffee gods hated me that day and they made me spill it all over my laptop. Well, not all over, but it got like into the mouse pad. And so every time I tried to use my plug in mouse, the mouse would move all crazy like this. And it was just it was just like I said, the seventh circle of hell. So uh, without further ado, let me go ahead and show you what the house looks like. I accidentally placed it on the lot wrong, but I'm I'm we're we're just going with it we are just gonna we're just going with it so uh let's go ahead and put the walls down here and i'm gonna turn on all the lights so you can see everything all lights okay is this not so freaking beautiful like i'm just blown away like still even looking at it right now i'm just blown away seriously amazing job amazing job thank you thank you thank you to the creator uh i'm insanely grateful <clears throat> Um, so here's the one bedroom, obviously, um, when I moved the princesses, cause I actually like had them move in game and like one of them got on the phone and they all moved. Ariel came in and took over the bed and Aurora came in and took over the couch over here. So, uh, there was a computer and a stereo. I deleted those items just because I felt like it might've been a little too much entertainment options for them. Uh, there's a chance they might come back though. We'll see. We're kind of just playing this by ear, you know, we're not, uh, there's no like really super set roles, but they're rules, not roles, rules, but there are definitely some things. So, uh, the one bathroom is here. I took out one of the sinks. There were two sinks, but I thought to make it a little harder, I'd take one of them out. The bookshelves I decided to keep so they can read, which is nice. And yeah, this is what that house looks like. And then if you go over here, this is the victory house again uh the creator did specify that there's obviously some things that need to be added here i'm probably gonna have to make this area a little bit smaller add in, in a bedroom for the slave to live in and uh probably add like a hot tub and i'll just add stuff as we go so we are gonna go ahead and give snow white her reward so we're gonna go ahead oh whoa game calm down uh, we are going to go ahead and let's see here. Lock, specify Sims. We're going to go ahead and let Snow White have access to this house. And I'm not really going to add too much right now because it is like the first, the first reward going out and they haven't really had much taken away from them. Like I'm not 
going to take the fridge away until the slave comes in, which won't probably won't be until the next episode. So also, speaking of which, please vote in the poll down below for the slave. It's still going on and I will probably be recording that episode tomorrow. So you have until tomorrow. I believe that Esmeralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame is currently winning to play the part of the slave. So uh, please do vote in the poll. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to go let Snow White do her thing. Look, she's already leaving. She's like, yep, I'm going to go have a fruit parfait. Forget you guys. So I don't know why my game is being so crazy. Hold on, guys. Okay, we'll see if that makes it run any better. I don't know what the heck is wrong. Oh, Cinderella is tired. So uh, we'll see if that helps. It seems like it's still moving kind of weird. So I'm sorry about the lag, guys. I don't know what is going on right now. And as for the punishment, uh, basically when I collect the poll results, which is legitimately right before I record an episode. So um, looking at the poll results, Aurora actually won the punishment. It was literally one vote, one vote off from being Jasmine. Like that to me is crazy. One vote between one vote, Aurora won over Jasmine. So um, who is over there? What are you guys doing? Why would you want to swim? When you're like dying of starvation, you're going to die in there, dude. Don't swim. They'll get like fatigued so easily. Okay, so for Aurora's punishment, I kind of actually am doing my own thing here. Um, there were a lot of great suggestions. Sorry, I got to put that code in so I can just teleport her. But I wanted something really simple for the first one, just because not only is this episode late, but I just wanted something really easy. So um, still do give me suggestions, though, for future punishments. But for her punishment today, I am leaving her in this little fenced off area for the next 12 hours. But I am going to fill up her hunger bar just because I don't want her to die of starvation because I really don't feel like that's fair. Um, because yeah, so for at least the next 12 hours, we put her in at around 530. So we can pull her out at around 530 PM. And I guess she's just going to chill on her cell phone, but I'm sure she'll get cranky because she will get tired. She'll probably end up peeing herself. It's, it's a pretty crappy punishment. I wouldn't want to be stuck there for 12 hours with nothing but my phone. I mean, I don't know. I think that's a crappy punishment. So there's that. And Snow White, let's go see what that girl is doing. Uh, she gets the reward house for the next 12 hours. And then she actually gets to go into the city. And I have created Prince Charming for her. And they're going to go on a date to the bistro together. So that is what's going to happen. I'm going to let Snow White have the house for the next 12 hours. We'll check in with them. We'll check in with the other princesses, see how they're doing. And then we'll go out on the date. And then at the end of the episode, we are going to be doing a death challenge. And basically what that entails is by the end of this episode, somebody's going to die. So um, we're going to do the jelly bean plant one for the first one. I'm going to put out eight jelly bean plants, make all of them eat beans. And the first person to die from eating a bean off of there is going to be the person that dies so i'm kind of nervous about this guys i there honestly is not a single princess that i want to die like seriously there is not a single one that i want to go so that's rough <laughs> but uh yeah so i'm just gonna play and we'll just kind of watch everyone i feel like my game is running better now it just took a hot minute so what's everybody up to right now let's let's take a gander here um it looks like i don't even know what bell is doing what are you doing what are you eating girl oh you're drinking like coffee or something and cinderella is too it's probably because you guys are tired you're smart which where's ariel is she still in <laughs> ariel you jerk she's still in bed her her bar is almost full though so she'll be up eating soon i'm sure i'm really worried during this challenge guys that i am gonna like not keep up on their hunger bars and people are gonna starve to death but unintentionally because i've totally seen that happen in k-pop's challenge and it's sad like uh, i don't know look how mad they are they're so mad and so tired ariel will be up soon why don't you guys make friends with each other and then you could sleep in the same bed that would be the smart thing also um 
As far as the rules go, I think some people... Oh, Belle passed out. <laughs> she looks so graceful. Look how beautiful they look when they, like, fall asleep like that. That's really funny. Um, as far as the rules go, I do think there are some people that are uninformed. Um, and I say this in, like, the nicest way possible. I'm not, like, upset or anything. Hold on, let me go ahead and change it to sunny because we are just, no, 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 not season. Change weather to sunny because it really makes my game crazy. Um, oh, look, they're already up again. <clears throat> uh, but with the slave and the punishment, like who gets the punishment, people kept telling me, oh, so-and-so should get the punishment and so-and-so should get the reward. But I know I'm probably going to get comments like that throughout the challenge, but I do just want to let people know that there are poll links in the description bar below for you guys to vote on these things. Um, I'm not, basically, I'm not taking comment requests. It's all voting based on you guys and what you want to see the majority of the people vote on. So... Um, I want this to be really interactive with you guys, but leaving me comments telling me like, oh, don't kill so-and-so or don't, or I don't even know. Just stuff like that. Like, I want to respond to all your guys' comments, but I'm getting an overload of those kinds of comments. And I'm probably not going to continue to respond to them just because I get so many comments and I want to read them all and respond to all of them. But when I get stuff like that, it it's... Um, a little bit harder to get back to everybody because I'm just responding with the same thing saying please go vote in the poll please go vote in the poll so um, please 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 vote in the polls <laughs> and I will tell you in every episode you know there's a poll down below for this so pretty please um, the slave is going to come in in the next episode there the poll for that is in the below bar Please, please, please continue to vote right now as Meralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame is winning. Uh, last time I checked anyway, and she's winning by a lot. So um, not that that's a bad thing. That's a really cool suggestion, I think. I got it from the comments. But uh, please continue to vote on that. Ariel, are you seriously? Oh, she finally got up. Belle, oh, snap. Belle is like, nope, not having this. This is my bed. Get out. Let's see. Did anybody else try to follow? Jasmine, dude, everybody has passed out at least once. That's really funny. Let's go see how Aurora's doing, man. She's in the yellow. Uh-oh. She's tired and apparently having a hot flash. Oh, that's right. Aurora's name is spelled wrong. I'm sorry. I am going to fix that. I forgot to do it before the start of the episode. I will fix it before the start of the next episode. So thank you for those of you that commented that and let me know. What are you doing? You are not allowed to talk to people. Who the heck is Peggy? You guys. Seriously, though? Who is Peggy? Like... How does she know people? She shouldn't know anyone. She should only know her housemates. That was like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Who in the frack is Peggy? That's really weird. I have no idea where she met Peggy, but that's hilarious. Okay, guys. So Snow White is actually doing great. Look at her in her cute PJs. I love the way that she came out. I was very, very, very pleased. I love her. I think she's really cute. Um, whoops. I'm going to go ahead and change her back into her everyday outfit. And we are actually going to go ahead and have her go and meet Prince Charming and go on a date to the bistro. So we are going to go and do that for her reward. And I guess this is the last that she's going to see the Victory House because uh, by the time she gets back, I'm sure that it will be past 530 p.m. So, which I think that was, like, pretty good. Like, most of her bars got filled. She got to sleep. And I obviously don't want her, like, having all these super full stats while everyone else is suffering. Like, she'll totally win, like, the entire game. <laughs> so, um, we are going to have her go into the city. And I will meet you guys over at Charming's place. Let me get a better shot for you. Sorry. We have found our Prince Charming. Look, they're wearing like matching clothes. I think I'm going to do that with every prince that we encounter throughout this because I imagine this is going to happen more than once. Um, so we are going to have her friendly introduce herself as they get to know one another. And then hopefully we'll be able to work it up to a relationship where they can go on a date. Oh, look, they already instantly like each other. Oh, good. So, dude, let's try that romantic stuff right away. Let's ask him if he's, he's single. He should be. Uh, compliment appearance. 
Whoa, calm down you. Special, let's see. Dude, I bet you I could do this stuff pretty quickly because he's a hopeless romantic. What's this? Streak? Snow White! No, you cannot streak. What is wrong with you? You guys did see that, right? She was just like, I'm going to go streaking. Okay, he does not have a partner. They're going to talk about shared traits. Why do I feel like the conversation is, like, weird? I feel like my game is being really weird. Like, did they just update a bunch of stuff in the game that I was not aware of? So this could go really bad. Why is she thinking about her heart being broken? Oh, see? He totally liked it. I knew he would. All right. So let's ask him out on a date. See, look. Dang, I've never seen a romantic interest happen that fast. That was awesome. Okay, so she's going to ask him out on a date and they are going to go eat at the bistro together. Okay, they are outside of the bistro, but it's being weird and it's not like giving me the option to... I'd love it if they would eat outside together, but it's not letting me. It just keeps giving me the option to eat alone. So, um, that's okay though. We're just gonna do our own romantic stuff outside. So I'm going to let them like hold hands and do all that fun stuff. She is really tired. She's really hungry. She's smelly. I'm pretty sure she peed herself. You just can't tell. I don't know if that's like a rendering issue or what, but she has 24 hours before she'll die of starvation. So we should be okay. She gets to be let out in about an hour and hopefully that will be good for her. I would hope. Um, let's see. How's everyone else doing? Cinderella is really tired. Ariel seems to be doing fine. Elsa is not doing well, but she is napping on the couch, so it might get better. And Jasmine is also really tired. Jasmine is hot-headed, which means she is much easier to anger with most sims. However, hover over any tree, blah, 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 blah. So Jasmine apparently is mad right now. What's up, Jasmine? I'd be mad too if I was that tired. Guys, I don't know what you are not doing, not eating, because I'm going to take that fridge away and it's not going to be pretty. We are actually a little bit late letting Aurora out, but that is okay. So we're going to go ahead and let her out of the little gated area. She can go do whatever. Girl, I freed you. Get out of there. Maybe she's too tired to move. I totally wouldn't blame her if she was. You can go now. I'm going to make her move just just so just to make sure she can actually get out. Okay, so she understands she can leave. Let's go see where Snow White is. So it's not the most romantic thing in the world, but wait, who is this? Okay, I was going to say that better not be the prince. He's supposed to be in here with me. Snow White and Charming are boating together out on the lake. And she is actually going to go home soon. And their date is going to be over. I couldn't get them to eat at the bistro. It just was not working for me. So we did that. I'm going to go ahead and have them go back. Oh, my bad. I'm going to go ahead and have them go back to the shore and probably watch stars together. And then their date is going to be over. So that is going to come to a close. Oh, you guys. Look how cute they are watching the stars together. They are adorable. Okay, after she watches the stars for a little bit, I'm gonna send oop, I'm gonna send her home and we are gonna do the death challenge. I'm really scared. Let's go check on everybody else at home though. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up the death challenge area and I'll probably give each of them a tiny boost on their sleep, like just a teeny tiny bit. And we will get the death challenge underway. So let's go ahead and have Snow White come home. It's time to, st the relaxing is over, Snow White. You must come home now. And uh, I will see you guys when the death challenge is on. Okay, guys. So I've gotten everyone queued up with a jelly bean plant. They're all caged in and each of them has a plant. I'm really scared about this. I'm afraid that like more, sim one, more than one sim is going to die at once. But we're just hoping for the best. I boosted everybody with a little bit of energy so they wouldn't be falling asleep while doing this. And I might do this periodically if no one dies right away. So here we go. We're going to play it. <laughs> that was cool. They all moved at the same time. 
Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this is so scary. This is really scary, you guys. This is really scary. <sighs> so they're all just eating. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna have to cue everybody for more. Also guys, I do wanna let you know that if like two people die, I'm probably just gonna let it happen versus going back and starting over. But if we lose like three people, I'm just gonna do a do-over on the episode. So, and I'll let you know if I have to like re-record. Okay, here, hey look, it's charming. He followed Snow White, oh my gosh. What if she's the one that dies? Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. Who's dying? Oh my gosh, guys. That was the saddest thing ever. Tiana is leaving us. She is leaving us, you guys. Oh, she just like sunk into the ground. That was so depressing. Oh my gosh, that was so sad. Oh. Oh. Man. I really liked her. Oh, so Tiana is the first one to leave us, guys. Oh, I'm gonna like cry. This sucks. Uh, I knew this day was coming though. I did not think it was gonna be her though. Not gonna lie. I really didn't think it was gonna be her. So, well, all right, Grim Reaper, where are you with the dramatics? Let me go ahead and let everyone else out. Oh my gosh, Sims, you are so dramatic. Why with the theatrics? I mean, okay, somebody did just die, so it kind of is dramatic, but jeez. So I opened the gate so all of them could go and do whatever they wanted. I am going to make a little graveyard so we can have little ghosts of everyone hang around as they go. So Tiana was the first one to go and beings that she was the first one to go, what I'm going to do, I've decided, is actually make that sim available for download. So as the sims die, their sims are going to become available for download. So in the below bar, you will see a link for Tiana and for this house, if that is something that you want. And um, yeah, guys, I think that is the end of this episode for now. Uh, looks like Jasmine just peed herself. <laughs> that is the end of the episode for now. So we lost Tiana. In the next episode, you will find out who the slave is going to be. Please continue to vote on that. And uh, be sure to also follow me on Twitter for updates. Like if I'm ever going to miss a video or something like that, you can always check in with me on Twitter. And of course, I always like to try to communicate with my fans on Twitter. So uh, please, please follow me there for more regular updates and things like like that and basically just connect with me on more of a personal level and uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let all these poor girls mourn and then go back into the house probably feed them one last meal and then take away the fridge and uh yeah that's all i got guys this is sims 3 copper fox signing off mm -hmm.